guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing a little book haul and a little unboxing as well. So in the past bit I have I haven't done like an actual haul in such a long time I don't really plan on doing them anymore but I thought like every little while if I do want to talk to you guys about some books that I've either received or bought that I could do a little one and I also got an unboxing so I wanted to show you guys that and I'm really excited to I opened it once already because I was really curious what was in it but then I put it back and now I don't remember what was in it so we're gonna open that together and it's like opening for the first time but like I kind of know what's in it but Anyways, so I want to talk to you guys about a few things. So I also haven't been making many videos, so I feel like I haven't really been talking about like what I've been reading a lot. I haven't been buying a lot, but these have these are books that I've received or bought in the past few months. And there's there's a, a bit more, but like I'm not sure because I stopped like writing them down because I originally didn't plan on doing these videos anymore. But I thought I would share some of them with you. So first up, we have The Line Tender by Kate Allen. So this was sent to me by Penguin. 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 Yes. <laughs> so basically this is um, about sharks, a marine biologist mom. I'm not really sure <laughs> to survive. Um, it's also about, wait, there's an issue in this book with like a great white shark. I think someone dies. Um, it talks about grief. There's also a depressed father, a stubborn fisherman, and a curious old widow, widow, widower to her mother's unfinished shark research. And it's kind of like about that. I think it's gonna be a bit of coming of age. It says funny, pognant, and deeply moving. It's a story of nature's enduring mystery and the people willing to seek meaning and connection within it. I thought this one would be really interesting. Again, I requested a little while ago, so I didn't actually remember exactly what this was about. But let me know if you guys have heard anything about this. This comes out April, so it's probably out this month or it's already, it's probably out already or it's coming out like in, like shortly. Talking about a manga that I got recently, I got Hatsu Haru. This book, my one of my best friends bought for me not too long ago. Um, it's about a playboy, definitely knows the way to a girl's heart, but when he has a run in with tomboy, a tomboy, he may get more than he bargained for. It just sounds like kind of like a cute romance. Um, a, the girl is short tempered, scary, and can easily beat him up. And I'm like, that's me. It's very rare that you get the female characters that are like that. And like, I relate, so I wanted to read about that. So the art looks really cool in this one. I think it's gonna be really cool and interesting. And it just honestly looks so good. So that's why I wanted to get this one. So like, thank you to my friend for buying it for me. Thanks, Christian. Um, but I'm excited to read this one. So I'll let you guys know what I think when I pick it up. I actually have like a bunch of manga like first volumes and I think it'd be really cool to do a video of me just reading like a bunch of first volumes of manga and then talking about them with you guys and like my first impressions of the series and which ones I want to continue with right away and stuff like that. I think that'd be cool so I might do that video. Anyways, next up I got another book from Penguin and this is called Tarot. So this is by Marissa Kennerson. And I requested this one because of my love of tarot. <laughs> Trapped in a kingdom where new ideas are considered treacherous, Anna weaves tapestries of dazzling lands where people are free to decide their own fates but when she escapes Anna finds herself in a world that looks exactly like the one she'd woven and Anna can't help but wonder is it the world I imagine and am I finally free so this is an interesting it sounds like magical realism fantasy-esque uh, it says Anna was never supposed to exist born of a forbidden union between the king the queen and is forced to live out her days in isolation in the tower the daughter of Morocco a powerful magician and the king is worried that his magical gifts are starting to surface okay so it's like a magical realism like royalty a little bit esque kind of book and there's some element of tarot in there so it sounds cool I also received with gratitude by Marla Scott this is a poetry collection that I got from Andrews McNeil publishing they always um, send over some poetry collections and like I've been reading a lot of them too so you'll hear about those in like my April my next recent recent reads so like which will be like part of the books I read in April and like if I read any more in April then it'll be just my recent reads during April but anyways you'll hear about some new poetry collections soon and my thoughts that I've read from them but this one I'm looking forward to I don't know much about it all I know is relatable experiences that will inspire you to recognize the good and beautiful and difficult situations um it also is also like a meditation on the beliefs so I think this one is going to be interesting and less like depressing as the other ones <laughs> like some collections are obviously really sad and supposed to like get your emotions going and things like that and like I personally do write poetry and I know that when I write them I'm usually like really emotional when I write them so they do come off like that um or they come off really sad or like etc but I think this one's gonna be like really kind of like just like 
gonna be like more around like gratitude and things like that which I think is gonna be really nice to read about and like it seems like something that I'd read as like a self-care kind of thing I don't know like I could picture like reading this like with like a face mask and like a bubble bath and like that whole thing and like reading this and like appreciating stuff so I might do that that could be fun yeah thank you so much to Andrews McMill I love getting packages from them because they always send over like nice collections and I'm always I always read poetry so I'm really excited every time they come um it it's um it releases April 2nd so it's already out so you can get your hands on it if you want it Another thing I got from Penguin was this book called Dig. This is by A.S. King. This one releases in March, so it's out. Um, I honestly got requested this because I know Books and Lala really loves A.S. King. <laughs> and it also like sounds really cool. So it literally says, The Shoveler, The Freak, Can I Help You? Flea Circus Loretta and First Class Malcolm. Dig is a story of five teenagers buried in their family's tangled secrets. So like that's what I kind of really want to know. It kind of has like that secretive element to it. It sounds really cool. And like, I've heard really good things about this author. So that's why I wanted to get this one. And I'm probably gonna read this one like, not like soon, but like in a few books. Like after I finish a few things, I'll probably read this one next. So yeah, if you've read this, let me know your thoughts. I really wanna know. I haven't, I also haven't been making a lot of videos. So I haven't been reading a lot and I haven't been watching a lot of booktube. So I have like, I'm totally behind on like, my friends videos and like people that I enjoy watching their videos so let me know if you've read this what your thoughts were. I also picked up Defy Me which I just have the dust jacket here because I'm currently reading it. Um, this is the fifth installment in the Shatter Me series. I am so happy about this one. I'm so excited that this came out. The Shatter Me series is really well known on booktube. I'm sure you've heard of it. Um, so yeah I'm currently reading Defy Me but I bought this one as well. This was the only book that I bought in the month of April <laughs> with my own money. Um, it's probably the only book I bought in the last two months with my own money more so I mean I'm good at book buying now apparently <laughs> one that I got from my New York trip that I didn't really talk about or show was something that I'm really excited about so you guys all if you're new here you don't but my favorite book is called The Virgin Suicides it's by Jeffrey Eugenides I love it I've read it five times I own like six copies um, it's they have a 25th anniversary edition <laughs> And I saw it at the Strand in New York City. I haven't seen it in any of my bookstores since I've been back. So I'm dead. I love it. It's beautiful. I totally love it. And it wasn't too bad. It was like 15 US, which is like, what, 17 Canadian? Mm, that's not even that bad. <laughs> like, anyways, that doesn't matter. But look at it. I love it. <laughs> anyway, so those are some books that I acquired recently that I wanted to share with you guys. Hopefully found out about some like new releases as well, like some of these arcs and stuff. Or if you've read them, I really want to know your thoughts. Anyways, now I have a little unboxing. So this box is the Unplugged book box. This was sent to me by the company. Thank you so much to them. I haven't gotten like a book box like this in such a long time. So I was super happy about this. This one focuses a lot on self care and things like that. I will have all the links for it in the description box, where to buy it, the site, if you want to check out more on it. Some other booktubers have been doing unboxings. So if you also want to hear some other people's reviews, you can do that as well. So. I'm really excited and it's like a heavy box it's a nice box like it's a nice black box and it has like all this stuff I love we're gonna open it so it came beautifully wrapped I kind of ruined it <laughs> so don't mind that but it came with this was the April young adult box so it came with it was wash away your worries was the theme so this one comes with a book as well as some self-care items they also have an adult box too so they have their young adult box and their adult box so the first thing that came in here was a body lotion and it, this one's called Aquaman. So this was by this Fiction Bath Company, Fiction Bath Co. <laughs> and this one smells like sandalwood and things like that. It's a body lotion. I think it's really nice. It's actually a decent size. So I was really surprised like it was, it was like a nice bottle that came in, in the package. So I don't know. That's really cool. And it's like Aquaman themed. It smells so good. I really love those like woody smoky kind of scents. Next up there was this. This is another kind of like bath product. Um, oh my god I should use all the stuff when I read with gratitude. <laughs> um, this is called Anna Safety Net. It is a shower gel by the soap librarian. 
So this is like a shower gel that has like rose and things like that in it. Um, it looks really cool. I'd be interested to check out like the other like kinds that the soap light brand has like I haven't heard of a lot of these companies so that's really cool something that I also thought was really cool about this box is that it comes with a recipe which I won't be able to use anyways because I am vegan but we could probably change a few things and make it vegan but anyways I thought it was really cool so it has Lurgeen snickerdoodles and it comes with like a little thing with like the recipe on it I thought it was really cute then the other side again I'm not really going to use this because my music taste isn't this but it comes with its own like Spotify playlist and you can like scan, you can find us on Spotify, click the camera in the search bar, you can scan their code and it has like a theme song, um, all the tracks and a bonus track that goes with the box. And I just think that's so cool. Like what a great idea. I was totally impressed by this box. This is a poster that's for the book that came in the box. It does have a map on the other side. So I'll show you guys that. It was so cool. Like I would actually hang this up. Like this is really nice. You can tell I, I like the box. Um, it also has this little card, uh, May 2019 reveal, theme reveal, if not now, when? And it also has five reasons to reduce stress on the back. So it has a, like, a little, a little self-care thing, which I love. They also came with a bookmark. This one is a quote from Benjamin O'Leary's signs on both sides, which I love. It's from Aristotle and Dante. They also came with a Steve Jobs magnet that has like, a nice quote on it. Then it came with this like, bag it's not a tote bag because it's like one of the ones with the strings but it has a pocket at the front and it has like another pocket so it basically has like it's a pirates of the caribbean thing so it says like treasure treasure is silver and gold and it has not all treasure is silver and gold and it has like the crossbones the mermaid and then it has like one pocket here and like the two little things and then it opens up here too which i thought was cool so then we have the book which is this guy um, so this is Sky Without Stars. This is like a big YA book by Jessica Brody and Joanne Rendell. I believe I heard of Jessica Brody. Yeah, this is System of Divine book one and it looks so cool. The map looks so cool and I don't read a lot of fancy but like this looks really cool to me. Also, there's a little note in here for after you finish the book, it comes with a signed author plate for the autograph. And it also comes with a little thing on the inside. I believe this is a note from the author. Yeah, little thing from the author. From the authors, um, also each book apparently has, there's like two different naked books you can get. So when you take the jacket off, mine has like this key thing and I believe another one has like a skull. So you can kind of like see which one you got, which I thought was really cute. You follow three characters. What does this have? All three have roles to play in a dangerous game of revolution and together they will shape the future of a planet. Power, romance, destiny collide in the sweeping reimagining of Victor Hugo's masterpiece Les Miserables. Oh, this is a Les Mis retelling? I'm learning so many new things. <laughs> I'm learning so many new things. I'm learning more things in this video than you guys. So. <laughs> This is apparently Les Mis retelling, which I think is really cool. That's all the stuff that came in the box. I thought the box was really cool. Thank you so much to the company for sending it to me. I think it came with like a good amount of products and it was also like, I like the self care thing. Like I think that's really nice and it's really important too, obviously. So thank you so much. I really love the box. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this little haul. Again, I'm probably not gonna be doing hauls regularly, but I will do them every now and then because I just know people like to see them and also because sometimes I want to talk about some of these books that I get that I haven't read yet but I just want to talk about them with you guys and hear your guys' thoughts so that's why I also wanted to talk about them. I also wanted to do this unboxing for you guys because I'm super I was super excited to receive this box and I really wanted to talk about it and I've seen a few other booktubers that I know make videos on it so like I wanted to make mine too and I wanted to talk about the company so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. I'd really appreciate it. And subscribe down below if you want to join our little, our little hood. That sounds like a cult. We're not a cult. If you want to join my subscriber count squad. <laughs> I'm failing. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you super soon. Bye.